It's Car Kicks. Classics, custom sports cars and trucks, plus news, great places to go, and products you'll love. Now, here's the host of Car Kicks, Bob Lang. General Motors has announced that it started production at another new engine plant in Uzbekistan. The new plant will have the capacity to produce 225,000 engines per year. GM said about 1,200 people will work at the 4 million plus square foot plant. You may not have personally invested in General Motors stock last November when it initiated its IPO, but if you're a tax-paying American, you're still taking a licking as a shareholder. The Treasury Department has increased its estimate of the auto industry bailout losses will incur, and the figure has grown dramatically from the original estimate of a little over $14 billion to almost $24 billion. For liberal arts majors, that's an additional 10 B as in boy billion dollar loss. The Uzbekis would just like to say thank you. The Treasury is blaming most of the escalation in costs to the declining value of GM stock in recent weeks. If driving is giving you a pain in the back, you're not alone. But Ford has a better idea for 2013. They're going to add more comfort to the 2013 Escape by using a new high-technology seat. After running thousands of tests with drivers and passengers around the world, in the lab and in vehicles, the team was able to quantify a set of common standards that would provide more comfort no matter where people drive in the world. Americans wanted what the Europeans had, better support, and the Europeans wanted what the U.S. had more of, cushy comfort. The team designed a seat that fits both tastes and performance and allows drivers to feel better after a long drive. Look for that seat to find its way throughout the Ford line. You know, a classic automobile won't command a top price just because it's old. The importance of rarity and beauty is key. There will always be a market for collectibles driven by the power and beauty of an old car. The age of the buyer and the buying public has an impact, too. Vehicles from the 1930s and 1940s seem to command less interest today as that age group moves on. There are exceptions, of course, but because cars seem to be a generational love, markets change. So now the values to watch will be for cars from the 70s and 80s, which were lusted over by boys and girls who are now coming into spare cash. Such classic cars are already an attractive investment proposition. If you want to see an example of the 90s collectibles coming up, the value of Toyota Supras from the early 90s will open your eyes. If you're buying a collectible as an investment, the message is to buy what you like, but with one eye on the world around you. For all you hot rod lovers, Good news! The Good Guys 2012 calendar is out. If you're into hot rods, you know Scottsdale's Westworld is alive with people right now with the Good Guys Southwest Nationals. But it's time to start planning your 2012 trips. Just go to the links page at carkicks.com and click on the link to see the 2012 schedule. That's K-A-R-K-I-X dot com. JAG unveiled its new 2012 XKR-S convertible at the LA Auto Show. The stunning JAG offers a 0-60 to 60 time of 4.2 seconds and a 0-60 to 60 time in just slightly longer. Jaguar's status of being a larger-than-life player in the top drawer luxury with excellent performance combo plate is reinforced by this convertible XKR-S. Jaguar is definitely bringing sexy back. Lexus won top honors in the Kelly Blue Book 2012 Best Resale Value Awards. The RX 450H won for Best Hybrid SUV, the IS for Sports Sedan, and the Lexus RX was also in the top 10 overall for 2012 Best Resale Value. Lexus reliability is what's driving the resale values for Lexus. Just in time for winter, Jeep showed off its Wrangler and Liberty Arctic Editions at the LA Auto Show. How can you tell yours is an Arctic Edition? Yeti footprints on the hood and fenders, white paint with black trim and wheels, special Arctic Edition badges, and of course, driver and passenger heated seats. The 2012 Jeep Wrangler will use the 3.6-liter Pentastar with 285 horsepower and an estimated 21 miles per gallon highway. Como se dice Mastretta? Bien! The Mastretta MXT is the first high-performance sports car produced and designed in Mexico. The midships 2-liter with more than 250 horsepower, 5 speeds, and weighing in under 2,000 pounds sounds like a lot of fun to me. Under 5 seconds to 60 and a top speed of around 140. Prices will be around 55 to 60,000 and put it into some tough competition on price. The car maker began production in January with 350 cars planned for 2012 to be sold in North America and Europe. I wish the team at Mastretta success as they drive to bring a truly fun car to market. Hey, and don't forget to join us on Facebook at K-A-R-K-I-X and on our website, carkicks.com. Till next time, drive with care. I'm Bob Lang. Car Kicks is a production of Spirited USA, who is solely responsible for its content. That's all for now. See you right here next time with more Car Kicks. Join us on the web at carkicks.com. That's K A R K I X.com. And on Facebook and Twitter. Hasta la vista, baby.